Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a couple of limited edition products from Olight. If you're catching this video early, then you may be able to catch these items on sale, so check them out. Olight sent us a couple of new products, or at least limited edition products. This is the i3T Plus, and the finish is ancient bamboo. It looks like a piece of bamboo, so it's a very interesting little flashlight. And then the other one that we've got, this is the, the OPN Pro in brass bark. It's another limited edition finish that Olight has. So let's take a look at the i3T Plus first. As with all Olight products, you have the yellow quick start instruction sheet that you have right in the top of the box every time. Uh, and it's just telling you that you have to take the uh, protective piece out so that the batteries can actually make contact with the bulb. Now with this one the instructions are just laying loose in the top of the box and when you first get this product it's actually going to be wrapped up in the vacuum sealed plastic and it's got a little moisture pack in with it to keep the moisture down inside of it because the the finish over time will change on this one with the the moisture and using it uh, having your hands and everything on it you don't need to try to put it back in the thing afterwards this one instead of it being rechargeable it just uses two triple a batteries so the, this one is one of the few from olight that is not rechargeable to access the batteries it just comes right in from the top here and you've got the two standard triple a batteries in there and then the the switch is on top of it and this one has two settings it has a high setting and the low the high is 250 lumen and the low setting is 15 lumen so to go from high to low on this one turn it on and turn it off and yeah you just have to click and hold it to get it to go up to high or you can go to high by double clicking the switch right away. So it's, it's not a real bright light, but it's just a, a small flashlight anyway, so you're not expecting it to be a, a real thousand lumens. 250 for this size light is still a good amount of light coming out. It does have the Olight style pocket clip on it, so you can clip it in this way, or if you wanted to go that way and clip it up onto to something, then you could do it that way as well. But it's got a very interesting finish on it. It is got the, the little knobs like a piece of bamboo does, and you can feel the striations in there like you would feel on a piece of bamboo. So it's a very nice looking finish, and uh, it's a cool looking little, little light. So. If you want something that uh, is different from your standard pin light type flashlight, the Olight in I3T in the ancient bamboo, be a nice light. So, and it'd be a nice little conversation piece to talk about to how it looks like a piece of bamboo there. So, nice little light, check it out. And the other one that we have here is the O pin. And it's, it's also a very nice looking light. And then you can see from the picture on this one that um, it's got a different looking finish on the pin itself. And it is also, like I said earlier, this is a limited edition. So you've got your yellow quick start instructions, just like always. And this one also comes in the vacuum sealed pack as well. And you just tear it at the little perforation down here to be able to open it up to get the pin out. Now, this one is a rechargeable light, and when you take the rest of the stuff out of the box, has the instructions here, and then the charging cord for it is in the, the bottom of the box. Just a standard USB to, to the small USB C type plug so you get a replacement cartridge for the pin as well in the bottom of the box. 
So it's got a very interesting texture. And this one is a bolt action type pin. So you've got the little bolt here on the side that will turn on or will uh, extend the actual pin cartridge itself so that you can write with the pin. But they also use the bolt action is what turns on the flashlight. Now you can see on the pocket clip there that there is a small LED right there at the bottom of the pocket clip. That's the flashlight. Now to turn it on, you use the bolt action and you just click it and it turns the LED on. So it's, it has four different settings on it. It has the moonlight mode, low, medium, and high. And high, I think it said was, the high is 120, medium is 60, low is 20, and then moonlight mode is the five lumens. Now to get it to go in between the, the brightness levels, pull this piece of paper up here so you can see it. If you push the bolt action up and hold it, it rotates in between the different modes and just let it off when it gets to the brightness level that you want to keep it at. And then when you turn it off and turn it back on, it'll go back to the other setting. And if you want to go straight to bright when it's on, double click the bolt action, and then go back off. And if it's from off position again, double click it and it goes straight to high. Now, the other thing that this one has in it, if you push the bolt action up and hold it, it turns on a green laser pointer. You've got green laser pointer, you got a four different level flashlight, and then you've got a pin. And the pin actually does, I like the cartridge uh, in the pin. It writes very well, very smooth writing pen, just standard fine point black ink in it, but very smooth in the writing and it, it flows very well when you're, you're writing with the pen. As far as balance, it, using it as a pen, a little bit top heavy uh, for writing, but it's not bad, depending on how you, you normally hold your pen. If you have your pen resting back against your hand, then it's not going to be as tiring as if you have it hold it up like some people do, like that way. So it just depends on how you hold your pen, whether or not it would tire your hand out holding it up. Now, to access the charging port on the pen, you actually just unscrew the top of the barrel here separates right at the bottom of the pocket clip and your charging port is right there in the bottom of the top of the pin. So it's just got, that's where the USB-C port is for the charging. So the, the battery and everything is in the top section of the pin. Uh, and when you plug it up, it's got an indicator light right there on it that tells you uh, that it's charging or that it's fully charged. And then to, to change the, the pin cartridge in it, um, you actually take the pin cartridge out from the bottom, just screw the, the tip off, and it just comes out the bottom of the, the pin itself. And the, there is a plate on the inside of the, the pin there. You can't really see it because it's black. But that's the part of the switch that when you push up on the, the bolt action, it activates the light in the flashlight part of it, or the little LED. Very interesting pin. If you are a pin collector, like a lot of people are, um, and not just the ones that you steal off people's desks or stuff like that, the ones that you actually go and you search out 
nice, interesting looking pins. This one would be a nice one to add to a good pin collection because it is a very interesting finish on it. Uh, the texture of it is really nice and it gives it a, a good surface to hold on to. They call it brass bark. Uh, if you look at the barrel of the pin, it looks like it's got rifling on it. Like if you look at the inside of the barrel of a gun, you'll see the spiral rifling. So it, it's got some spiral flutes on it that look similar to rifling. But then the rest of the finish is like the bark of a tree. It's got some flat spots, it's got some dips, and it's very irregular shaped as far as where the dips and everything are on the pin. So I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but you can see the little highs and lows as it kind of hit, the light hits it in different ways. You can see those little recesses. You feel the edge of the flutes in there. It's just got a little bit of texture there for you to be able to hold the, the pin and get a good grip on it. So I really like the way the pin turned out. I mean, it's a nice looking piece. It's got O-Pin Pro here engraved in the top side of the barrel and then the other side has Olight. I really like the finish. Um, and I imagine since it was in the the airtight thing to begin with, the brass will probably turn a little bit over time and get a little bit more patina on it. But uh, I like it. It's a, it's a nice pin, writes very well, and got pretty good balance as far as uh, I like a little bit heavier pin anyway. Uh, so if you like pins, check out the O-Pin Pro from Olight. Be a nice addition to any nice pin collection, and it's also got the, a little flashlight on it there to help you read something if you need to, or uh, whatever you need to do with a very small flashlight. Check out DoubleEagleGunWorks.com for more information. Like and subscribe at the bottom, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.